I think that some of the upset in media scandals about um, people such as yourself who've been sex workers and also teachers is that there's this maybe association with sex worker prostitution with being strung out, being being mm-hmm. a drug addict. You know, as you said, there's an idea that it must be such a horrible situation that only somebody at the edge would do this. Right, you would and only if, do it and, out of desperation. Right, and if she's a heroin addict, addict mm-hmm. how could she still be teaching high mm-hmm. school? Or you know, if she's has such deep personal problems. Mm-hmm. Um, but as you've explained, that isn't necessarily the case. That it isn't no. necessarily an experience that people wouldn't choose. A lot of people mm-hmm. choose sex work as a well, and a, a lot of people. Profession. I mean, the the funny thing is, is that once you start meeting a lot of sex workers, current and former sex workers, you find that there are these personality traits in common and other careers in common. And uh, in general, um, sex workers tend to be caretaker personalities. And um, so they also tend to gravitate towards teaching, um, therapy, nursing, you know, health, you know, the health fields, the mm-hmm. therapy and counseling fields, social work, education, because those things all appeal to that same kind of set of, of qualities of wanting to take care of people, um, being able to form intimate connections with people, you know, very easily and quickly. Um, having the ability to find something endearing in in everyone that you work with. Because if you think about it, teachers and nurses and therapists need to be able to work with any kind of person and be able to make a connection and like that person, even if they're not necessarily totally likable, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, there, yeah, so a lot of people who are, who stay in sex work, who, you know, you might get into sex work Um, out of financial need you know most of us go out and find a job because we have a financial need so you you get into sex work because it fits some whatever your current situation is it fits and it's going to make you some money and then what I see is that the women and men who stay in it long term um, have these sets of qualities like it's they and they end up identifying as sexual healers and or just you know healers in general and um so yeah this um assumption that you would only do it out of desperation it is true for some people you know it is a quick fix if you're in a some kind of financial jam and so there are a lot of people who get into sex work because they're in some kind of financial desperate situation they solve that and then they get out because it's not really something that they would choose to do but um there's a whole other vast sector of the sex worker community who choose it and love it right. and see it as a career and, um, and take it really seriously. You know, take classes on human sexuality, um, take sex education training classes, I've done all of that, take, um, you know, tantric workshops and uh, learn massage and, you know, really see the, all of these things as career development, you know. Absolutely. And so as you pointed out, there are very different kinds of sex work mm-hmm. and that are often conflated, conflated in the public mind. So we right. have what sometimes is described as indoor and outdoor sex work. Mm-hmm. Outdoor sex work being a woman walking the street. That's often a very dangerous but even that, situation. But even that, you can't make across the board assumptions about um, men and women who are street-based workers because mm-hmm. um, that that is... Uh, it is very dangerous, and you would think that certainly when there are all these different ways to work, you wouldn't choose that way to work if you were able to get it together and work some other way. But that's not true. I have friends who are street-based workers, and they love it because it's just a different, it's just a different way of working, and um, there are just aspects about it that are very appealing to certain people. And so there are a lot of men and women who work the streets who are not drug addicts. They don't have mental health issues, none of that. It's just a way they prefer to work. 